just made it over to Bob's place. You can see what's going on here. Beautiful situation, beautiful situation. He's got over here talking to many of the body shop girl, camera girl. And uh, we're going to be with Paul in a sec, I mean Bob in a second. So we're going to go up here and talk with Paul and see his rat hole first and uh, see what's going on with him. What's okay. up, Paul? New sound system. Yes. Cables running. Made my own cable. Now hold on. When I came up here last time, it wasn't a hoarder. <laughs> You're going to put too much weight up here. This thing's going to collapse. No way. I went, man. You said you had a rat problem up here. What's going on? I know rats. Just a little Where are they at? Place. They're they're in the trash. Oh, you already threw them away. How many did you have, dude? Uh, eleven one week and three the next. My God, dude. So what's going on up here? You look like you're an electronic guy. Yeah, I. Electronic. So you buy these. Fix them up. And Tell work. us a story on this. So where'd you get this? These are all work. They all work. I've had man. them for years. But they didn't work when you got them. No, they worked when I got them. Electronic. They still no, you were talking about. I just put a new sound system in. Okay, so what's going on? Now, this yeah. is one of the ones you found in the trash, or. <laughs> no, I'm just asking. You said that you. No, I bought this. Okay, you bought this one. Yeah. And the subs. Oh, wow. And the bow center. Oh, and man. The two in the back, and these two work as well. Yeah, I so just... you're. Hold on. Okay, I'll just make sure that floor. You're not going to fall fall. through. <laughs> it's kind of. It's kind of soft right there, dude. I just, I just made cable. Uh huh. So you made all those? Yeah, all my cables. Oh wow. Huh. Just some heavy duty. Cable so do you in put? There. Is that cable that you put your own shrink tube on, or? Oh yeah. You put all this shrink tube on those? Yeah. See? Jeez, bud. You're, you're telling me all these speakers are hooked up? No, just the bottom. Okay. Okay. But so it, what is this place? Is this like your your? This is my. Uh, this is your man cave uh, apartment. Well, complex going on here. I was born the year of the tiger. Um, it's a tiger den. It's your tiger den. There you go. <laughs> and then, of course, we all know Paul's a painter. All right, we're talking freelance over here. You don't. You're not a copycat, and every one you do is different. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yeah. What is that supposed to be, Paul? Never mind. <laughs> we'll let everybody look at that. We'll get some opinion. I want everybody. Tell me, what is this painting of? The governor. What is this painting of, please? <laughs> now, I just want to say, I got one of Paul's paintings, and we're going to be hanging that up in my office. I'm good. Remember that one you gave me? Yeah. So we're going to hang that up in there, and it's awesome. He gave it to me. Thank you very much, bro. Okay. okay. And, you want to uh, stay for lunch? I don't know. We might. What are we having? I don't know yet. Well, I mean, besides being an electronic guru, you're also a, a gourmet chef. Yeah, we're probably going to stay, dude. Okay. We need to get down there with Bob and look at this car. Are you going to help us slide it up under there? Or? No. You're not even going to help us? You, uh, you guys okay. can do it. Okay. You don't need me. All right. Well, let me get down there. I don't ask you to go. Let me guess. You're going you're gonna to go down there and supervise. No. Okay, you're gonna stay up I gotta here. Get the, I gotta get this together. Get this clean, dude. This place is a mess. Well, I gotta, a big mess. I got, I got, well, I have a lot of little mice turds. Uh huh. They're in the drawers. They're on this carpet. Oh my They're god, everywhere. dude. So I'm just cleaning it all out. Okay. It and just okay, because you said thing. you said you had a, a a mice farm up here. Yeah. I'll bet there's babies hidden in here somewhere, and you haven't found them yet. Well, I don't know, but they. Well, hey, sir, they were everywhere. Let's hope you get them all out of here, bud. Oh, I have them. All right, all right. Let me get out of the way here. Here's another. Did you just get done painting this one, Paul? Yeah. That's badass, dude. That is awesome. That's pretty cool. I like them dots you put down there just to break it up and kind of say, what is it, you know? What is it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm well. just cleaning house. Okay, let me get down here. We got to go see Paul. I'm Bob. We got to go see Brother Bob and see what that Corvette's Good to see you, bud. Okay, we'll see you in a few, buddy. Okay. All right. You have a good one. You going to the car show? When? When are we going Razor, indeed? When are you going to come to Moab and go Ray? I'll go. When? I don't know. I got a brand new Razor. I Didn't saw it. I saw it. Well, when are we going? I, hey, I saw her drive it and she wasn't smiling before that until right. she got behind the wheel. All right. Then she told, and then you told her how to do things. Okay, dude. Okay. But maybe, she was Minnie smiling. Take, maybe Minnie will take you. Hey, Minnie can take me anywhere. Yeah. All right, easy, <laughs> easy, bud. All right.
Okay, so we were in the car and we were talking about Colorado, and many really didn't like the conversation we were having. Or should I say camera girl? Is it camera girl or is it many? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Many the camera okay. girl. Many the camera girl. Okay, first of all, Bob, she doesn't want to be called camera girl no more. Okay. No, hold on a minute. I pulled up here. No, I was mad at you, Pete. So, yeah. You know, and why? Hold why? on. She's mad why? at me yeah. because a fucking Derwiner Snitchel hot dog. Are you listening to this, brother Paul? No, Jesus. A Derwiner Snitchel why. hot dog is costing you seven fucking dollars. You don't even know why, Pete. Have you ever heard of Derwiner Snitchel? Have you ever heard of that place? When I was a little kid at Derwiner Snitchel, okay, can I talk here for a minute? So, when I was a little kid, you know, we used to go to, uh, I think it was 44th and Federal, or maybe it was 46th and Federal. Actually, it was right there at I-70 and Federal Boulevard, next to the Howard Johnson's. Do you remember Howard Johnson's? It's a hotel, yeah. Yeah. So it was right next there, and they had a Derwiner Schnitzel. It was his own freestanding building. And we used to get Derwiner Schnitzels for like 50 cents a dog. And then if you wanted uh, a Polish dog, which, you know, that's what I like, right? I like the Polish dog. It was like 10 cents more or some shit like that. So I was kind of excited to go into Derwiner Schnitzel, and guess what happened? Guess. It was real expensive. Four fucking dollars. Four dollars for a bullshit. Wasn't even 100% all beef. Four fucking dollars for one fucking hot dog. Do you see that? Right underneath the fucking thing, guess what it says? A dollar fifty-nine extra if you want all 100% beef or Polish dog. That means if I was gonna buy one of these fucking hot dogs, and of course, I need the Polish dog, you know? I want Polish. So I get the Polish dog, I'm spending $5.60 for a fucking hot dog that's probably this fucking big with some sauerkraut thrown on it and some French's mustard out of a fucking mustard squirter. They probably would have charged you extra for the sauerkraut. So do you really think that I got a fucking hot dog? Are you serious? Huh? Did I get one? I wouldn't have You walked away from it. You didn't even ask the price. Your opinion was, uh, I think 7-Eleven's better. Did you see how they're cooking their dogs? They cook them exactly like 7-Eleven. What are you talking about? It was exactly like 7-Eleven dogs. I can't believe you didn't see them. So basically, I, I didn't see them, okay? They were right there. I was too shocked by the price on the fucking, you know, speak. Hold on. I walked up, saw the food on the griddle, and walked away. $7 for a hot dog, and she's pissed at me, dude. Because I didn't want to buy one. But that's not why I was mad at you. She's mad at me because we bought lottery, Colorado lottery tickets, brother Paul, over there. And we didn't win nothing but three fucking dollars. We spent 23 fucking dollars on two donuts. Uh, what did you get? What did you have? I got a kind bar. Okay, you got uh, some kind of candy bar. I got these two fucking donut things. No, with... I got a kind Okay, I don't know what you got. It was some bar, nut That's bar. That's the name of it, dumbass. It's called a kind bar, which you don't know nothing about, because if you were ever kind to me when you spoke to me, I'd drop fucking dead. We got a soda pop. So, anyway, back to the situation. I decided I'm going to buy some lottery tickets. I'm feeling lucky. Many of the body shop girls going, I don't think you need to do that. I went ahead and got... $25 or whatever the fuck it was, lottery tickets. And guess how much motherfucking money we won back? Guess. Take a guess. Minnie. I oh, know. I don't have to guess. Three fucking dollars. Three. Three dollars. And then to play the lottery tickets, we literally had to stop in a fucking parking lot and read the bullshit instructions because they're so diabolically fucking hard to do now. You, you need a you, you need a, a an iPhone, okay, to figure it out with. I mean, whatever happened to getting a lottery ticket and just scratching it off? Bam, bam, bam. No, I'm not a winner. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, here's one. 
Took us a fucking hour to do those fucking lottery tickets. <sighs> Not happy with Colorado at all. Well, at least you want something. So she's mad at me, dude. Yeah, okay. Let's let it go. Anyway, we're over here <laughs> at Brother Bob's place. Yeah. What's up, bro? <laughs> Colorado Bob. We can't cut Colorado down anymore because we're at Bob's place and he lives in Colorado. Manny, I just say you got to have a lot of patience with Pete. I know. He's driving you know, me crazy today. Either that or you just got to ignore him. Uh, it was hard <laughs> in a car with the camera rolling. So we got Bob here, and this is part two of our 61 Corvette or 60? 61. Okay, 61 uh, Corvette, and he's got a lot of it done from what we saw last time. Let's let him explain, and I'm going to stand behind the camera because he's actually getting pretty good. He's turning into movie star Bob over here. Yeah, right. So, Minnie's, do you want me to film or you? Or you go ahead and film. I'm a better filmer. You're a better filmer. I'm a better filmer now. Uh, you can see how pissed off Minnie is. Look Woo, turned my hair. Reggie made me so right. freaking mad. Yeah, exactly. Last time we were with Bob was about two months ago, month and a half ago. Month and a half, eight All right, we saw a video one. This is take two, video two. You got a lot done. Where are we gonna start, dude? Well, we got. I got the frame powder coat, or uh, not powder coat, but uh, painted. 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 Okay, okay, what did you use on that, Bob? I used that. Uh, what do you call it? D. Direct metal. DTM. Direct, direct, direct to metal. metal. Now, what kind of paint was it? Was it the Rust-Oleum or some other type brand? I don't remember. Okay, so it was some brand, but it was yeah. a direct to metal where you don't have to put epoxy primer on it. Right. And I see it gave the factory finish, am I right? Yeah. Gave I, that I, nice I, set. I don't, think the, I don't think the factory did that good. You don't even think the factory was this good? No. Well, me and the body shop girl will probably agree with you because she always says that. Well, I think it looks really nice. I like the flat. It's like a matte flat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no exhaust. That's what I was just going to say, bud. What's going on with this exhaust now? It looks like these are pre-bent. You didn't even bend those. No. So you can actually buy those like that? Yep. And you're telling me these are the factory OEM style, not OEM original, right. but style. Yep. So this is what the 1962 mufflers for dual exhaust on a Corvette actually look like. High performance exhaust. High performance? Yeah, because it had the crossover, crossover pipe in there. Oh wow! Underneath there. So this actually came with a crossover pipe. The uh, high performance <laughs> one did, yes. So that was kind of an option, or what? Uh, for high performance, for the dual quad. Yeah. And for the fuel injection. Jeez. So see, that's something new. I didn't know that. Now, was this car an actual dual quad setup, or did you make it like that? I, I don't well, remember. Well, I made it like this here because I ended up getting this dual quad setup uh -huh. when I bought the car. Okay. Now, whether or not the car came with the dual quads. We don't I, don't, know. I don't know that. Wow. Because I never got the motor, but I did get the carburetors. These car I spent over three days and everything just trying to clean these carburetors. Rebuild these carburetors, huh? Oh, and I'm still not done because I need some uh, vacuum pistons in there. Gosh. So you just got them sitting on here just to Well, they're they're all all together, but yeah. I don't have the wow. I don't have the vacuum rods and the metering rods in it right uh -huh. now because I'm looking for some parts. Now, when you uh, did the motor, I guess you detailed it out, you repainted the motor. Did you put a new water pump on it and all the accessories yep. while you were at it just to yep. make sure it was all good? Yep. And then did you detail your all, uh, generator? I took, I took it all apart. Yeah, so you're not even putting nothing uh, Y2K on this. This is all exactly, identically, exactly like it came from the factory itself. Exactly. Even the ground the, cable. Here's the, here's the tack drive. Now, how does that work? I've never seen one of those. It's just a, like a speedometer came uh -huh. from here up to the tack. Wow. And then what, how does it how is it driven, though? I mean, It's just driven. It's just a gear in here. Uh, but is it on the, the back head. of the generator and it yeah. goes into it? Yeah. Because I've never seen one of those. Wow. So that's a that's an authentic original tack drive mechanism of 1961 for the Corvette itself. Yep. So you're actually going all original NOS situation on this. Yeah. Now, you did something to the front end. Yeah. What did we do? What I did there, because this has got a kingpin set up. Yeah. There's no good way there of disconnecting here. Uh -huh. So what I had to do is I had to come over here. And completely and, take the lower and, control and arm the off lower the frame. the control arm off of here. I got the spring out. Uh-huh. And then I cut, the, I cut one loop off of the spring. Wow. All right, because I want to lower it a little right. bit. Right. All right. 
and then putting it back. Now, putting this back in here. Oh my gosh. All right, this would not line up here. So you almost need three hands on this thing. You know, uh -huh. you're trying to get this thing back Jeez, in. Dude. You're trying to get this lined up so you can get it back up in here. Uh-huh. All right. Well, I had the jack on here. When I jacked it up, during it swung this crossbar. Wow. I didn't know it. All right, so I get it all lined up. I get it in here, during, and then it wouldn't tighten up here. Oh, my gosh. And so I, I kind of bind it up and twisted it. Oh, it, it, well, as I jacked it up and everything, it twisted on yeah. me, and I, didn't, and I didn't realize it. So, uh, all right, uh, so I'm fighting getting this all together here. One man operation that you are. Yeah. And then Paul was come. I asked Paul to come down and help me and everything, and then he looks at it. He says, you, you can't, that ain't going to ever fit there and everything. Something's wrong. Right. So well, what happened? Well, he pointed it out. All right, sometimes it's good for four eyes. Yeah. Because I didn't see it. What was it? It was just this, see how this is looped down here? Uh-huh. I had it flipped over and oh, everything, and, and it so would it, never come up here. Right. So that uh, that arm right there flipped over backwards on you, and you didn't realize I it. I didn't realize it. Now, did you get your spring lowered? I got the spring cut. It's uh -huh. lowered. Now, how many, how many, what are we looking at, an inch lowered or half an inch oh, or two? Probably, or? probably an inch and a half. Oh. That was a that was a real pain. Now what do we got over here, Bob? What's this thing? Oh, that's where your steering hooks up. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. That's my steering. And then this is all your clutch set up here. Now did you rebuild all this, put new yeah. bushings in? Yeah. It? All the grease, all that oh, stuff. Dude. That's a lot of. And you put yep. a brand new clutch. A brand new clutch in there. And that's a I, one seat. I took this shifter apart. I took it completely apart. Sandblasted it. All right, greased it all up Jeez. and put it all back together. Wow. So I see a problem. What I'm gonna what I'm gonna do and everything is when this thing is running. Uh -huh. All right, I'll put it up in the air and I'll take I'll take some emery cloth. I was just gonna say, dude. Let, I didn't want to say that because I knew you had some kind of plan. I was just gonna point out something that he did shitty. See, I wanted to get loud on the camera and kind of get him pissed off, but he got it before me. Yeah, too late, too late. You know what I'm too saying? Late, yeah. Yeah. But no, I, it's too bad you couldn't be here to see that little. Yeah, tip. I'd like to see that, but you know, I was gonna get, I was gonna do that, but he caught me right in this <laughs> much time. See, do you know what that is? That's because he knows you so yeah. well. And one more thing I want to point out that you even taught me a little lesson is, is right here. When you're restoring these old cars, when you take them cars off, wire tie all that stuff down on all the uh, bushings and. Um, spacers then you don't know because if you look right here this one's got like two and a rubber pad but come over here and you can see the difference that's a good okay. point now what about this bob come on now we got a battery box did you get all that rust out of there i ain't doing nothing there. It's okay it's all, all right that's good for the battery it drains more battery acid out of it okay let's go over the body real quick uh it looks totally different what you do i went ahead and uh painted the undercarriage. Wow. Did you see this, many? Right. Yeah, I saw God, it. dude. And you used the Rust-Oleum on this. I did, with your suggestion. Rust-Oleum, I mean, that looks right. awesome, I took, I took care of the front panel here with the, that panel bond. Yeah. So you used panel bond on that. You didn't rivet it or nothing. Nope. And it worked out perfect. Perfect. Now let's go over here before we lift this thing up, because I'm going to help you slide it under and set it on there. Um, you also did some painting on your car. What did you paint, Dave? All right, I painted my console. Wow, look at that, Manny. Now, was that base coat, clear coat, or? No, that was single stage. Single stage paint. Look at how clean oh, that nice. is. And look at that. That thing matches almost 100%. Yeah, it matches the interior yeah. perfect. And I did my steering column. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, did you have to put the steering column in before we put the body on? Yeah, or? yeah. So all that's yeah. got to be done first. Because yeah. I had to put... I had to I had to put the steering box way up in here. Oh, okay. All right, in order to get it in the hole, I said, hey, Got I it. better have that steering box in there yeah. before I put the chassis back in. I'm sure you could probably get it, but you know, yeah. I wasn't going to fight it. Well, I can tell you one thing: you've come a long way in a month. So, so what I did for Pete, I just, well, I just what do you mean? Because you were coming over. Okay, go ahead. All right, I grabbed all my interior pieces oh, and so I just so set them in here. Yeah, I was gonna say. Right. I was gonna mention that next. That interior looks like brand spanking new. Now this is this is the stuff that you got for your buddy. Yes. Jeez. Right. And this is just a pad. 
This is okay. it's a it's it comes right it, off, it slides just, off. It, of it comes right off of here. Jeez, look how good All that right. thing fits. So I took this pad uh -huh. off of another Corvette All right, very carefully. All right, so I saved it because this, this pad is about four or five hundred bucks. Or look at this, Minnie. Wow. That, looks really that thing looks factory, dude. Does that look nice? Look at the gloss on that thing, Minnie. Uh -huh. You didn't buff it or nothing. No. Come on, dude. You didn't color sand and buff that? No. I think it actually looked better than it with the second coat. Uh-huh. All right. I put, a third, I put a third coat on it, huh. and you can see it. I uh, ain't got a little bit of it. I don't see nothing. I see awesome. It's, it's there. The right you can see it right you there. Nope. Oh, oh, yeah. In the light. Yeah, you got a little dry right there. Well, you could color sand and buff it if you wanted to, but... Yep. I think wow. Looks, I don't think you're going to notice it once it's in the car. I don't think so either. Okay, we're going to go ahead and attempt to uh, put the uh, body on top of this frame. And I'm going to follow Bob's lead. Hopefully, all right. Are we going? it'll all go. Yes, Bob, we're going, buddy. We're going. So we're going to let Minnie, the body shop girl, camera girl, run the camera. And hopefully, she's going to be a good camera girl and do it right. <laughs> all What's right. our plan here, dude? Let's move this thing back. All you got to do is roll it in. Yeah, we're going to roll it back, but we got to get it on the tape, right? Yep. All right, I'm not. Do you want me to turn the wheel or anything? I mean, yeah, are we lined up? I think we. It looks like we got to turn it. There we go. That, Just a, way. that way. Okay. Oh, okay. So hold on, hold on. We're, we're lining up pretty we're good over here. Right here. All right, now that had a different tire on it. Okay, well we're lined up perfect over here, Bob. Okay. This goes down here, right? Go, that should go right down in there. In that pad there. Yep. And then I guess all the other one, I guess you got all your bolts already lined up and ready. You got a pad stuck right here. All right, now there's a pad, see, like, like right here? Uh -huh. That pad never came off. Yeah, same with this one. So there's no pad here. Okay. But there's pads okay. on everything else, and everything's all pad. All right, dude. You want me to watch the front or no? We get, when we get it close to anything, we need okay. to. Okay. Oh, it's coming down the, now. The steering right. box up there. The shifter. Oh, the shifter's got to go in. Got to get that in there. the hole. Okay, I'll be watching that, dude. All right, and Get the bracket in the rear. Okay, here we go. Come on down, Bob. I, this is as fast as it goes. Well, that's good for us. <laughs> I thought it went faster. Watch that front corner over there. not any lowering blocks in the rear. Watch that blue frame over there. Nitty. Over there, the frame on the lift. Looks I'll like it might hit the frame over there. We're good. We're good. Oh, okay, we're good over here. Okay, watch that frame thing over there, Bob. It looks like it's pretty close to the frame going down. Okay, it's gonna hit the generator. Okay, wait, 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 stop. Hold on. The helping hand of my friend Pete's right here, bud. <laughs> it looks like when you put that down, it might get the header. Oh. Let's bring it down a little closer and see what it does. It might be an optical illusion. Okay, I think that I think that rail right there is gonna hit. Well, that's what I was saying. Let me kick the front tires over and see what happens. I'll pull on this side. Okay. All right, ready? Yep. Okay, that's good. It's on the it's outside of the frame rail. Okay. It's coming down. I don't see that. Should we get it? Oh, wait. Right it there? missed it. it, is it, it clear? No, I think it's touching the frame. The blue thing is touching the frame. No, no it's not. It'll clear. Let me see. Hang on, Bob. It's Tell me when it's not there. Stop, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's good. Okay. It's not touching, you got about right. a quarter inch. We might have to take that alternator bracket off, Bob. Matter of fact, you might as well take it off now. What, the alternator bracket? Yep, the alternator bracket, get your impact, zip it off of there. I think the steering will clear now, but the bracket's not. So anyway, um, this is a situation you have when you're doing a job like this by yourself, and that's what job Bob's done. Everything you see on this car, he has done by himself. He even taped that off. Look, he taped it off by himself. Do you believe that? He yeah. actually put the paper in here and taped that off all by himself. Mm -hmm. So, you know, situation. You got it. You got it in the front now. How's the load there, Manny? Right here, Manny. Easy, easy. Hang on, Bob, hang on. All right, come on, come on. I'm gonna hold it like this while you're going down. Hold it. So I'm sitting somewhere, let me see. Is it the 
shifter. It's the shifter. Hold on. Jack it up a hair. My thumb's here, Bob. Yeah. Easy. Okay. A lever on there, too. Lever? Yeah, the reverse lockout. Oh, yeah. There it is. All right, let's make sure all our bolts are lining up in the holes. Bob. The body's got to go. The frame's got to go back that way now. One, two, three, four. Go, go, go. Hold it right there. Hold it. Not looking at. Right here. Okay, now it looks like it's got to go back just a hair. Roll the frame back just a hair. Oh, that's it. Is it lined up there? Yeah, that looks like. All right, hold on. Don't do nothing. Let's check that side. Hang on. Okay, hold on. This bolt here is not even in there, Bob. That's okay. Where's that one at? Okay, there's two of them that's not even in here. But that's all right, we can take a uh, uh, crow's foot and shimmy it around, right? Yep. Okay, can I pull the carpet out of here? Yeah. I just want to flip it over just like... There's the bolts. Okay, that one's in, that one's in. Hang on a minute, let me check this one. Okay, that one just dropped in. Let me check that other side over there. Oh, there's not one in this hole, Bob. It's lined up, but there's not a bolt in it. There's not a bolt in that it's lined one. Up, though. Perfect. It's lined up perfect, dude. Okay. I'm a happy camper! And there you go! Blue light special again! <laughs> so now you can lift it up by the frame and so yeah. it doesn't have to crawl underneath it. There you go, dude! There you go, bro. Yeah, what a job, Bob. Now we're looking at a restored. Look at how clean that is under there, Manny. Look at that. Josh, Bob. Wow. Look at, what a difference. Look at that, dude. I guarantee you the factory didn't look this good. Bob. Man, oh man. Wow. That looked pretty underneath. All right, so now you can bolt the body on. Yep. Shake your hand and make a friend, Bob. Oh, yes, man. We gotta go, bro. We gotta get back. To, man, we're trying to get our foundation done for our house. We ain't even moved. Well, I got here. my foundation done. Yeah, I know. Now you need to come over and help me. Uh, I can do that. Yeah, you're looking good, dude. You're doing a beautiful job, Bob. Thank What's you. What's our next, uh, it's a situation when we visit you. Well, you're going, it might just be all done. Well, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I'm just gonna go ahead and get this thing running. Yeah. All right, get my carburetors finished. Get there you this go. thing running, get the wiring all in it. Uh-huh, do all the mechanical work first. Do all the mechanical work, all right? And then, and I, I, of course, I won't do any of the trim, any of the stuff, because that's all, all that. And then I'll get all the body work. And then look, Bob. Oh yeah, when, once that turns around there, it takes some memory cloth. Yeah, that's where, and that's where Paul's hands clean, come in handy, see? I'll clean that thing up. Do you need my friend Pete to come over here and do that for you? Oh my gosh, baby, I should've said now. Watch, watch this. Okay, you ready? Uh, uh, Bob, that's a little, a little more harder than we thought, Bob. Okay, come on. Okay, Bob, I'll let Paul do that for you. Okay, dude. Uh, we gotta go. Dude, here. Yeah, it's already cool. Look at that. Yeah, dude. The old Flintstone, Flintstone mobile action there. There you go. We gotta go, Pop Bob. We'll see you later, buddy. All right. All right. I'm leaving the camera girl with you. I'll see you later. I gotta go, bro. The battery's dying. The battery's dying. All right, this is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete over here. Bob's, my battery's ready to die. That was kind of a long video action, but you know what? We helped Bob do it. He got it done. The body's on the car, on the frame, and it's a downhill situation from here.